Good morning, guys. Let us start with this experiment, the spring oscillations. We want to study the oscillations made by the spring under the different combinations. Let us take first the spring, attach mass here. The motion exhibited by this spring attached to the mass constitutes what is known as a simple harmonic oscillator. And the motion exhibited by this is referred to as simple harmonic motion. We stretch the mass and leave it, you can see that it is making vertical oscillations and these oscillations are simple harmonic in nature. So this is basically, this is in the mean position. If you stretch it, it is extended, it tries to come back. This is a restoring force, this is the force with which you are pulling, but the restoring force it is trying to come back to the mean position. The main aim of this experiment is to tabulate the results in this fashion. You have to add the weights. And for each weight that you add, you will find out the time taken to complete 20 oscillations. And since every time you make 20 oscillations, the time is not going to be exactly the same. So we make two trials, find out the time taken, find the mean time, and then divide it by 20 that will give you the time period. Repeat this experiment for 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300 for first mass. Then remove this spring. There will be another spring attached to this in the same order, same procedure. You again repeat this for 50, 100, 150, 200, 250 and 300. Find out the time period and using this formula, once you know the time period, you must use this formula here. T1 is equal to 2 pi root m plus m1 by 3 k1, t2 is this and calculate the force constant using this formula which is 4 pi square t1 square into m1 plus m1 by 3 k2 is this where m is a mass that you are attaching and the small m is the mass of the spring okay and how do you make the oscillations the complete oscillation is designed like this this is the main position when you stretch it it is going to one extreme position comes back and goes up so from here this and this that constitutes one oscillation. So repeat this experiment for two springs separately. Measure T1 and T2. Next what you have to do is next we have to connect them in series and then in parallel. Let us see how we can do this. So continuation. This is spring S1, this is spring S2. Earlier we have seen how it is connected in parallel. Now it is connected in series. So as before, you will be adding the weights here. You just pull it down, leave it. It will oscillate. Find the time for 20 oscillations and calculate the time. Repeat this experiment by changing the weights as before. And the time period is T3. Using the formula, calculate the spring constant. Force constant K. So K1, K2, K3, K4, and then verify it with the theory. That is all about this experiment. In the earlier, each spring separately connected, we found out the period of oscillation T1, T2 separately. Now we are connecting them in parallel with the connector here, weight hanger here. So just as we have done in the previous case, you just have to add the weights here, 50, 100 like this, pull it in this direction, lay it. As before, find out the time taken to complete 20 oscillations, trial 1, trial 2, take the mean and find out the time period. Repeat this experiment, finding out the time for 20 oscillations for 50, 100, 150, 200, 250 and 300. And take the time period, calculate K4. This is not K4. K3, there is a force constant when the two springs are in series connection. Connecting series means just connect this spring below this. And then you have to calculate K3 and K4 using this formula. K3 when they are in series, K4 when they are in parallel. Compare it with the theoretical values K3 is equal to K1, K2 by K1 plus K2 and K4 is equal to K1 plus K2. K1, K2 are the spring constants using this formula for individual springs. 
K3 when they are connected in series, K4 when they are connected in parallel. And you have to verify what you are getting. This K3 using this formula should be same as what you get from these two. So therefore, this experiment is to study the oscillations of mass under different combinations of springs. That is individually connecting S1, S2, the spring 1, spring 2, connecting them in parallel, then connecting them in series.